He's Radio Jack. And if it happens in San Diego's Navy, you will find out about it on the Go Navy Show. From the skies overhead to the carrier decks below, San Diego was built on the U.S. Navy, and this is their show. And now, Radio Jack on TV and the Go Navy Show. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Go Navy TV. This is an expansion of Go Navy Radio. That's why I still have my famous Radio Jack hat on. Uh, today, we're going to speak to our faithful sponsors, been with us for the last five years on radio, and we're moving to TV now, so I felt an obligation to give a call to Navy Mutual. And if you haven't looked them up, make sure you go to their website, NavyMutual.org. And I have with me today, Admiral Stephen Pietropoli. And I hope I pronounced it correct, Admiral? Perfectly, Jack. Wonderful. So, Admiral, we are introducing Navy Mutual to a new audience here. We have a large naval audience here in San Diego. And I wanted to get, first of all, a little bit about yourself how you're connected with Navy Mutual, and then maybe you can give us an oversight or an overview of what Navy Mutual is and how it can help them. Sure, Jack. First, I'd like to say congratulations on the uh, new format. I think that's terrific. We're proud of our long association with you. A lot of it's been prompted by our support for Navy Athletics, uh, but our, our long relationship with uh, Go Navy Radio and now Go Navy TV is very much a part of our uh, who we are as a service organization. Uh, I've been with Navy Mutual just a little over two years, uh, two and a half now, I guess, as the chief operating officer, brought in by our president and CEO, uh, Rear Admiral Bruce Englehart, retired, who, uh, with whom I served on both the Navy staff and on the joint staff at the Pentagon uh, in a couple of different tours, and he asked me to come join them a couple of years back, and I did. I had been a member of Navy Mutual. I thought highly of the organization. I had spent a few years on the board while on active duty as a Navy liaison to Navy Mutual. So I was very familiar with the mission and the purpose of the organization. So you have history. I do. I do. I think um, many of our, many of our members uh, go back, you know, decades. Um, And our, our mission, of course, we go back 140 years, but uh, our mission in a nutshell is to provide, um, quality life insurance products, uh, plans, and annuities for eligible members of the military services and their families. Uh, They must be either on active duty or retired or within 120 days of discharge. So it's a fairly narrow, it's uh, actually the the quintessential mutual organization, which is of members for members. And uh, we have a nonprofit veteran service organization status, which allows us to keep costs down. Uh, and provide those quality products at the lowest possible cost to uh, members and their families. Yeah, I know your and website it. is NavyMutual.org, correct? That's correct. And you can like us on our Facebook page. We're we're trying to be uh, uh, reach out to younger members of the military and their families. And obviously, the way they communicate is social media and digital marketing. So we try to have a presence on Twitter and on Facebook and LinkedIn and the sort of professional social things where. Uh, people might be going to look for us, but our but our uh, website is a, uh, a primary uh, way for people to get in touch with us, and it's adaptable to your mobile devices, so it's easy to use. Yeah, and uh, I mean, uh, life insurance is not always a subject that people like to talk about, but in my own case, uh, when we started the radio show, we started with a Naval Academy graduate, um, Captain Merch. Many of the people in this audience know him who passed away at an early age, age 51, and uh, he was fortunate that he had a life insurance policy with Navy Mutual. So um, I thank you and I applaud uh, him for making a wise decision to choose Navy Mutual. Well, the the wonderful thing uh, about our nation and how we care for our people in uniform is today, if unless they elect not to take the service members group life insurance, which I don't think any member of the military ever should, they should take that that insurance. It's a very good uh, deal for them and for the spouse. If you get that, and now since the late 90s, you get survivor benefit plan as well. So if you die on active duty and you don't have a large family or a large mortgage, there's a uh, a reasonable amount of financial security for you. But if you're a if you're a mid grade petty officer or a non commissioned officer or a 
an 04, 05 in the military and with a $400,000 mortgage and a spouse that's home taking care of the kids, you may well need more protection than the government's able to give you. We never want to give you a nickel more protection than you think you need. None of our salesmen are on commission or have any incentive to upsell. Um, but America as a country is badly underinsured right now. And, and uh, that's probably because we're coming out of some hard financial times. Got that. We understand it, but you gotta, you, ha- you never know when adversity is going to strike. So right. you want to be sure that you've got some sort of protection for your family should you not be able to continue to provide for them. Yeah, and you were talking about mortgages and uh, protection that way, and you mentioned a number of 400000 in San Diego. That's the average home, and many of them are more expensive than that. And so having that extra uh, coverage is really a blessing to the family. One of the things about the Navy and the Marine Corps is we tend to put our, our uh, bases in very in waterfront locations, which are pretty pricey. So, yes. yep, San Diego is a hard place for folks to find uh, anything. In the, in the $400,000 range, you're going to have to be out in the valley someplace, right? Uh, it seems that way, yes. And, uh, and in, in our case here, we have uh, Coronado Island, which uh, I don't think I can even buy a house out there. <laughs> but there's I couldn't a rent a corner in Coronado. Right. We have, right. Uh, so it's, it's an important mission, and you were exactly right when you said People don't like to talk about life insurance. Uh, I'm exactly that person. I can guarantee you, when I first met with a Navy Mutual rep many years ago, uh, all I wanted to tell the, the person was, what do I have to sign to, to get you to stop talking about my death? You know, <laughs> I, 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 that's exactly how I felt. I, you know, I, I don't really want to do this. Where do I sign? Yeah. Uh, I hope that the people uh, in uniform today are smarter than I was and are making more informed uh, financial decisions than I did but I hope at least they're asking the right questions. Yes. That's what we're here for. Call us and ask us the questions. We'll do a needs calculator for you. We'll figure out with you what you think you need, how much risk you want to take. Uh, and, you know, a lot of our term insurance is very, really quite affordable. Yes. Um, I don't know if you can quote anything or talk about prices on the air, but uh, I know you are affordable and you do have uh, prices that are affordable for military personnel. Uh, can you talk about those, or do they get all that information on the website? You know, it's such an individual. It's such an individual thing based upon needs. We really would recommend that you either, you know, schedule an appointment with one of our um, representatives, or there is a calculator. You can go get a quote uh, on the website. Um, oh, that's so interesting. So, if you're looking for just straight term insurance, you can go and get a quote online. But, but it's y- the problem with this is uh, life insurance is not only something people don't want to talk about. It's kind of an arcane, complex subject anyway. And, and you're really better off. There's a saying in the industry that, you know, life insurance is not bought, it's sold. It's not the kind of commodity we like, you can go on to an online uh, store and just click, put it in the, in the shopping cart and take it. You can do that. If you're looking for something very simple, like a hundred thousand dollars of term life for five years, cause that's all you think you need. But you really, before you even make that decision, ought to sit down with a professional and talk about your options. Cause there's a couple of different kinds of life insurance. There's actually many different kinds, but the two basic ones are term and permanent. You really want to think those things through depending upon where you are in your life. As I said, if you're a junior person with just your mom and dad, probably the military's got enough coverage to take care of what, what they'll need if something horrible should happen to you. Absolutely. But if you've got a, a growing family uh, and you're in your mid-career, uh, it may not be enough. So yeah. talk it over with a professional. I also want to uh, thank you on behalf of uh, the uh, Navy team this year who were outstanding. At one point they were ranked 15th, but you were one of the sponsors there. So I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for sponsoring uh, my show and uh, continued success at Navy Mutual. Uh, You guys just are outstanding uh, group of uh, individuals. I love working with you. Well, thanks, Jack, and we really appreciate the partnership with you as we do with Navy Athletics. I was going to give you one tidbit piece of news for your brand new show, and that's, yes. uh, you know, we sponsor Navy football game, a home game every year. We're uh, also going to sponsor this year for the first time ever. Navy Mutual will be teaming with Navy Federal Credit Union to sponsor the Navy Notre Dame game 
which will be down in Jacksonville, Florida, great Navy town, uh, in early November. So we're very excited about that opportunity. A lot of our members uh, live in that area, and, of course, everybody nationally, probably after Army-Navy, the Navy game that they like to watch uh, nationally is Navy-Notre Dame because it's always a great contest. Boy, that's for sure. And uh, I think uh, you still are you, are you still involved with the Army-Navy game as well? We are. We uh, we host a tailgate and uh, oh, we, right. host, yeah, we host uh, we host we host the Navy has been fortunate to be in a bowl game uh, pretty often of late, and yeah. we host a uh, we are sponsors of a tailgate for that as well. And and uh, you know it's just been a great year. Keenan Reynolds was a wonderful uh, representative for the Navy, but the whole team yes. he set so many NCAA records. But the whole team just did a great job. They are. Amateur athletics at its finest, yeah. Jack. He should have been the Heisman Trophy winner, too. So <laughs> I just have to throw <laughs> that in. But anyway, I don't blame uh, well, you. thanks again, Admiral, for being on the show and giving us information about Navy Mutual. And uh, I really appreciate your uh, participation and sponsorship here. Thank you, Jack, and congratulations on the new format. Thank you. All right, everybody, that'll do it for this edition of Go Navy Television. See you next week right here on KSDY Channel 50.